Welcome back to Joomla Tutorials from Trinity Web Hosting. Today we are going to take a look at organizing a website. Websites are made up of several different web pages. Some websites can have hundreds of web pages, while others have only a few. These pages make up the content of your website, and it is helpful to organize these pages in the back end of your Joomla site so that you can be easily found and edited. Now, Joomla allows you, Joomla 1.6 allows you to organize your pages through the use of categories and subcategories. The system is similar to that of Joomla 1.5, which had sections and categories. If you are running a Joomla 1.5 site, I suggest you look at our Articles and Categories tutorial that is already on YouTube or our main website for Joomla 1.5. So the main difference comes to the fact that Joomla 1.6 does not have sections, it has categories and subcategories, and subcategories can be part of another subcategory. These categories uh, are, uh, and subcategories are like a filing system. Every page on your website is connected through a main menu or a menu item to one or more articles. All the articles are part of a subcategory or a category, and every subcategory sub is part of a subcategory or a category. This allows you to go to the article manager, like I am right now, and click on um, a category, and, and you can select one of these category, uh, categories, and then you will only see articles in that category. Unfortunately, this isn't very much used right now because our site is very small. However, if we had a site with several ca um, articles, um, it would be useful for finding articles quickly. Now, articles are what make up pages. Every page on your website will usually have at least one article or more attached to it, and all these articles will be part of categories. Now, to get to categories, either go to the content and click on Category Manager, or go back to the Control man Panel and click on the cat Category Manager icon. Once you are in the Category Manager, you uh, will see that there already are a couple categories that have been created. However, we're going to create some new ones just to look at how it's done. So you go to New, and say you wanted to create a category for your ministries. So you type in the title Ministries, you don't give it a parent because a parent makes it a subcategory, and then you leave all the other things um, the way they are, because that's the way you need them. You, um, you won't need to work with those at this stage. So you hit Save and Close, And you will see that now Ministries appears at the bottom of your category list. Now if you wanted to create a subcategory within that category, you just go back to the New button, and say you want to do Children's Ministries, and you go, this time you select Parent, and you go Ministries, so it's a subcategory um, below Ministries, and then you Save and Close. And now you see that Children's Ministries is below Ministries and then it's tabbed in to indicate that it's a subcategory on your category list. Now, if you were to go back to Articles by clicking on the Articles button here or going to Content Article Manager, and you were to create a new article, you could see that under the Category section, you can put in all, one of all of those four categories, the two we just created and the two that already existed. This is how categories work, and once you put all your articles in categories, it will be much easier for you to find them when you're coming back to them in the future. That's all we're going to look at for today. Thank you very much for joining us, and please come back next time for uh, um, how to, uh, what to put down articles and how articles work.